Hi, Philip Dahlheimer here with America's News Today. I'm out here at uh, McCarran International Airport, Las Vegas, Nevada, with uh, Jay Groth. He is the uh, president of the Association of Flight Attendants. So, uh, Jay, how are you doing today? Fantastic. It's a good turnout. Great. So, what, um, what does the flying public need to know about why you are out here today? Well, we took concessions twice, uh, once in 2003 and once in 2005, and the agreement was that in 2010 we would be able to negotiate that money back with improvements, and United is delaying the process. You know, we've been in negotiations for a year now, and uh, they have yet to produce any meaningful results. You know, so here we are working at 1994 wages we're working more than 40 percent more than we did for less money and it's time to get rid of the concessions we want raises right and wasn't it the uh the ceo of united took a huge million dollar bonus for bringing it out of bankruptcy and since then nothing else has happened absolutely they get bonuses every year they create more vice president positions the executives are are reaping the benefits of uh the the labor of the the unionized employees and you know it's time for the unionized employees to get to get what's due them. You know it's time for us to get a, a new contract. And so why was it that United wanted the uh, Association of Flight Attendants to review the Continental Airlines contract over this past Easter uh, holiday weekend? Well, because that would that would be more concessions for us. We'd be working even harder. Uh, we would have fewer flight attendants. We'd be working more hours um, with minimal raises and. Uh, you know, we don't rob from one pocket to put it into the other, you know. Right. So you are um, down here pretty far from your customer base in uh, Terminal D, and why is that? Well, you'd have to ask the officials at McCarran International Airport because they've actually imposed these restrictions on us. In fact, in August uh, and every other time that we've had permits, we've been able to uh, pick it directly in front of our ticketing counter as well as inside the ticketing area. And when we applied for a permit last January, suddenly those areas were changed. Now we have no access to our traveling public. We're down here at the far north end and they've conveniently parked trucks in front of us. So, uh, you know, so much for free speech at McCarran. All right, so actually, the, the, your customers at United really don't know the, the problems that you have going on with your contract, even still. Uh, thankfully, the media has been reporting the truth, and the truth is that uh, United is not offering us anything. They're actually asking for more concessions, and uh, every media, media outlet has been able to figure that out pretty quickly. So uh, hopefully, the traveling public has been paying attention and understands that their flight attendants um, are working more for less. Now, are you guys considering striking like British Airways did? Well, we work under the Railway Labor Act, and under the Railway Labor Act, negotiations shall continue until there is an imp impasse declared. At the end of that impasse, then we could be released into a 30-day cooling off period. At the end of that period, if we choose to, we could engage in intermittent strikes or even a uh, full-out strike similar to British Airways. But British Airways uh, does not work under the same laws that we do. We actually have the ability to not all go out at the same time. But in, in that case, it would be called chaos, create havoc around our system, which means that United loses control of their schedule. We control it. So they are chanting now that uh, Glenn has to go. That's, uh, that's a mantra of the, um, the flight attendants? Well, it's it's... It seems to be the mantra of every employee at United Airlines. Taking him out. Very good. Well, uh, this is. Um, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. This is Philip Dahlheimer reporting for America's News Today. Thank you.